Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Gonna teach Barracuda right now, but huge shout out and thank you to Boss for sponsoring this video and also making a killer sounding patch that I was using right there in that intro and it's totally free. It's for the Boss Katana. So check the link in the description below. You can get the free download. I've also got a whole other library of patches for the Boss Katana. So just follow that link down there and check out the Boss Katana. Now let's rock. All right, real quick, there's two guitars playing left and right that aren't playing exactly the same thing. I'm gonna go focus on the right guitar. So sometimes, you know, a G power chord could be like this, or a G power chord could be like this. And sometimes two different guitar players are playing different parts of it. So I'm giving you that caveat right now. We're gonna start with an E power chord. And then it's gonna do an F sharp power chord which is second fret to third fret. So you're chugging along one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a ten. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, 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 uh. All power chords, and we're gonna go up to this harmonic on the 12th fret. So what you're doing is you're going right above the, the metal 12th fret, letting the strings vibrate under your finger. You're not barring down, lightly touching it. And then the same thing along the fifth fret. And I don't have a whammy, but there's some whammy dropping if you had one. If not, you could push your neck a little bit. A little slide down back to the one and a two and a three and a four. Next time you hit that G power chord, you just let the open G be in high E ring out. Then that one by itself. Then again. And when I'm chugging along, I'm palm muting with my right hand. I mean, I'm really feeling the strings underneath my palm there. It's not. That's without palm muting. If I rest my palm here against the strings. So if I'm going one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and an eight and a nine and a ten, the ten, the tenth count is a C power chord. And so you go like this. And if you're counting that 10, then you would count 10, one, two, three, four, five. Bow a ow a. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One, two, three, four, five. And so later you're hearing and that's where these little variations come in, but that right guitar, D to E power chord, so fifth fret A, seven D, seven G, and you slide that up from five to seven. The next time you do it, you just do the same thing, but play the thickest three strings and cover that fifth fret E string, like that. Then it goes through it again. The next time it alternates it. Now they're all inversions of the D to E power chord, so either way you play it, you're still gonna be fine. But that recording, he reverses the second one into. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have this part. So I'm playing a C power chord, so three and five. Then I slide it down to the second fret A. And then I'm playing an A power chord, but the A note's right here also. Or same notes, everybody. Next, take that C power chord, and I'm going three, five, seven, five, three, two, but I'm also covering the E string with it. A, E, E, E. So all together. Then a D power chord, which you can play right here or right here. To an A power chord. Back to the main part. And then over that, there's a pentatonic line. And I'm going 12 on the high E to 15 on the B. 12 on the B, 14 on the G, and then 12 to 14 on the G, 14 on the D, 12. So. Okay, so there's two other main chuggy riffs that you need to know. Or, and so it's a G to A five, the so three, five, five, or just three and five. You could play the full octave on top, then scoot it over to the A string five to seven. So. Then it does a C5 to A5. So that's the other riff. Chug, ka cha chug, ka chug, cha 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 da da ba ba da 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 chord. So E, then the second fret. Third fret, fifth fret. 
It's in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> So that's that other, you know, riff to look out for. You have this other one. jam space jam in e where the e he's grooving on e they're doing lots of but there is one little standard little thing that starts to happen at the end and it's an e minor seven so you're barring across the 12th fret g b and high e and then my pinky is on the 15th fret b then that becomes 14 on the B. Then it becomes 13. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Uh, once again, Huge shout out and thank you to Boss for sponsoring this video and making that killer sounding patch for the Boss Katana. Don't forget to check out that whole library of Katana patches. Uh, they're all free in the description below. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you again.